Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, My So-Called Healthy Life. Okay, so I'm in my office today. I've been writing and I'm getting ready to head home and I wanted to uh, do a meditation since I haven't done my daily affirmations today. So one of the books that I keep in my office is Daily Affirmations for Forgiving and Moving On. Powerful Inspiration for Personal Change by T.N. Dayton, Ph.D. And, um, you know, I am such a believer in the importance of forgiveness and acceptance and things like that. So, um, you know, forgiveness is really for ourselves, not for the other person, not for the other organization or whatever it may be. Um, so I really, really, really like this book. It's one of my favorite uh, meditation books. And I'll link it below if you're interested in going and seeing more about it. June 9th, Patience. This will be a good one for me. Today I will be patient with myself. When I do not, when I do not do so well, I wish I would. I will not make that a reason to get down on myself. I will instead recognize that the fastest way to bring myself out of a painful funk is through understanding and being good to myself. I get caught in my own cycle of shame, resentment, and blame. If a child is upset, I comfort it because I understand that that is what will make things better. Calling a child names will increase its hurt and shame. I will not call myself names either. Rather, I will show love and patience in every way I can. Today, I am patient with myself. Patient ac patience accomplishes its object while hurry speeds to its ruin. Um, this is actually a really good meditation. And I was just talking to a friend about this earlier today, you know, um, I was talking to a friend of mine that's like early in sobriety and is really wanting to date and, um, you know, talks to a lot of girls and really wants validation and acceptance from these girls. And I said, you know, what is it that you're looking for? And you know, he was kind of going through some things and I said, you know, what's interesting to me is that it sounds to me a lot like what you want is these girls to, you know, like validate what you feel inside about yourself. And he was like, yeah, I kind of feel that. And he go, and I said, well, you know, a suggestion in early sobriety is that you don't date for the first year of sobriety. It's just a suggestion, but you know, so that you can focus on yourself and those kinds of things. And and I said, you know, like, he had recently quit smoking. And I said, so what, like, were the, when you quit smoking, what were the things that you noticed? And he goes, well, what do you mean? And I said, well, did you feel like you needed to smoke when you smoked before? And he said, yeah, a lot. And I said, well, what were the things that smoking contributed to you? And he goes, well, it was a stress reliever. And I said, okay. And then he said, you know, um... Also, it was really social for me because like when I would go with people that smoked, everybody I know smokes and I could stand outside and smoke with them. Now that I don't, you know, it's a little bit difficult. And I said, okay, so what you're saying is that like smoking and, um, you know, is a way for you to be like socially acceptable and, or socially accepting to other people or to be around them. It's like, a, you know, an icebreaker. And then it also is a stress reliever. I said, so now that you don't smoke, what we need to you know look at is what are ways for you to deal with your stress and what are ways for you to feel more comfortable in a social setting? He was like, oh my God, I had never thought about it that way, right? So, you know, much the similar way with the dating of the girls, I said, you know, like, if you're not dating these girls, then let's look and see, you know, like, what's really going on there? Like, what is it you need to do, you know? And he, I was like, well, how do girls make you feel, like, when they talk to you and they tell you good things about yourself? He goes, well, it makes me feel worthy. It makes me feel attractive. It makes me feel like a good person. It makes me feel desired. And I go, okay, so those are things you need to work on for yourself. And once you feel that way for yourself, you know, once you feel like I am worthy, I'm good enough, you know, I'm important, I'm valuable, I'm good looking, I'm funny, on and on and on, then you will start looking for different things in somebody else because you will no longer be willing to settle for anybody that will just come along and talk to you. And he was like, I've never thought of it that way. And I think it's a lot about you know, patience of self-talking to ourselves, you know, and being patient with ourselves and the mistakes that we make and looking at the mistakes in life and the things that we feel are always about all leading to this lesson of how do we get to this point of acceptance of ourselves and loving ourselves, you know, and being kind with ourselves, much like the meditation talked about how we would be with a child, being the same way with ourselves, you know, and that we have these childlike innocent souls inside of us that have been damaged or hurt a lot through the years. I and mean, we don't just end up where, you know, we end up overnight. Like a lot has occurred, you know, the bad relationships with parents or siblings or coworkers or romantic relationships or even with friends, you know, that have ended in a kind of tragic way. And, you know, just ways that people talk to us in school or on the street or whatever, you know. 
And all of that, over years and years and years, does a lot of damage. And we have to be patient with ourselves because it's an unraveling, you know, of this ball of string that we're kind of like slowly unraveling. So that we don't just have this mess of string, we wanna kind of like slowly unravel it, if that makes sense. And we have to be patient with ourselves and we have to talk to ourselves kindly. So one of the things I would suggest is that every day you stand in front of the mirror and you say one or two really nice positive affirmations to yourself, you know, that you believe are true, okay, that you can say that day that you believe. Like, you could say, I know I'm funny, or you could say, um, you know, I know I'm a good sister, or I know I'm a good brother, or I know I'm a good friend. And you start telling yourself those things. And every day, you know, or every couple days, trying to add another one. And really believing it in your heart and soul and being patient with yourself like you would a child. I love you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye.